What's going on everybody? Welcome to the fifth Python with matplotlib for data visualization tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be talking about stack plots. So the idea of stack plots is to kind of show um, basically the size of use or the relative, I don't know, percentage of something in, in the whole. So you usually are you going to show a stack plot to convey both a you know holistic number and then also within that holistic number, you're going to have, you know, the sections that kind of comprise that holistic number. So if that sounds confusing, maybe I'm doing a bad job. So let's go ahead and just show an example. So let's say uh, you've got some information and, and you've got, um, let's do days. We'll say days. And this is, you know, your days. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to log five days of stuff. And then what we're going to say is you do stuff during the day. So let's kind of, you know, compile the things that you do into major categories. So let's say sleeping, uh, sleeping, eating, working, and playing. Make these line up so we know what we're doing. Now, sleeping, let's say, um, I don't know what a typical human sleeps. Uh, we'll do 7, 8, 6, 11, and 7. So in order, they slept 7 hours, then 8 hours, and 6 hours. They made up for that with 11 hours and then 7 hours. Eating, I don't know. I get all of my energy from the sun. So 2, 3, 4, 3, and 2. That'll do. Working, let's do 7, 8, seven and then the weekend hits let's say and they just work two and two and then playing you play for eight hours this day five seven eight and then 13 so these should add up to 24 if they don't um that's too bad and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a stack plot so to do a stack plot we'll do plt dot stack plot and we stack plot the, basically you've got your, first you've got your X. So the X axes will be days. And then you've got like all your Y elements and they'll just stack on top of each other in this order. So we'll say sleeping, eating, working, playing. Okay, so those are the, uh, the Y elements, let's say. And then finally we add colors if we want. You don't have to, but we'll do it. And we need four colors, so we'll go with magenta. So, oh, we need to put these in strings. Uh, so we'll go with magenta, cyan, red, and black. Okay, so that tree, uh, gives us a stack plot, so we can save and run that. And there you go, we're calling a legend. Uh, so that's kind of why we got that error again. But luckily for us, it looks like we add up to 24 every time, so that's good. And then we can kind of see here uh, where we're spending our time. Now, part of the problem with this is that we don't really know what each element is, right? We don't know what's this black, what's this red, what's this blue or the cyan and what's the, the purple. What, what are these? So we have to close everything and we wonder, you know, can you have like labels or something in a stack plot? As far as I know, the answer to that is a big fat no. And the reason why is in stack plot and really everything that you have a what's called a fill, that's where you have a line and then everything is filled under it. So these are in uh, matplotlib terms, these are polygons. Anytime you have a situation like that, you can't have a label. I'm not sure why, but you just can't. So, so you can't do it. But luckily, there is a kind of way for us to handle for this. And that is with making fake plots. Okay. So... Um, why matplotlib just doesn't do this in the background when we have a stack plot, I don't know, but it's just the way it is. So let's say you're in a situation where, uh, you're doing the stack plot and you want to have, or really anything. So later on we'll do fills too, and it'll be like a fill between a number and a number. Uh, we won't be able to have labels there either. So if you want to have it anyways, how might we get around doing that? Well, we can plot empty plots. So we could do something like this, plt.plot, empty list, empty list. And then we would have a label. Well, let's, let's add a color first. Let's do color equals, 
and then we'll have that magenta and then we'll do the label equals and what corresponded to the this magenta well sleeping so that label would be sleeping okay so then we can take this line let's just copy and paste it copy paste 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 so um four times well paste three times and then you've got eating and then we had working and then we had playing and then our colors would be um, magenta, cyan, red, and then K for black. And now what we can do is let's save and run that. Oh, we used an L. K for black. Let's try again. And now we can at least have um, some you know fake lines here. Now, so this is our sleeping, but it might be kind of hard to see. So one thing we could change is like line width, for example. So that's another parameter we've not really talked about yet. So we say line width equals, let's do five and just kind of add that to all of them. Now they're a little thicker, right, in our legend. Uh, and so that worked for us. So now we can see while we're spending all this time playing and then here we're spending a lot of time working then the weekend hit, not so much. And then also when the weekend hit, apparently we're spending less time sleeping and, and so on. Anyway, uh, later on you might want to, you know, this is like these half days, right? Like 2.5, 3.5, 4.5. That is actually totally meaningless, right, to our graph. And, and almost is kind of confusing. Like like we were maybe on, on day 4.5, we were doing this much. Uh, so you might want to remove those. But uh, we'll be talking about that more in detail when we actually go uh, do our customization of matplotlib. But for now, that covers stack plots. Now, in the next tutorial, we'll cover pie charts, uh, which is kind of like stack plot. So, anyways, if you have any questions or comments on this tutorial, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.